multiplying out brackets of the form a by b plus c. When a number is written outside a set of brackets, such as 6 is in this example, it means that this number is to be multiplied by everything inside the brackets. So in this example, 6 by 3 plus 2, it means we must multiply the 6 by the 3 and the 6 by the 2. So this gives us 18 plus 12, which equals 30. Now normally, with numbers inside the brackets, such as this, we would work out what's inside the brackets first. So 3 plus 2 will give us 5, and then we multiply this by the 6, which will give us 30. But in the next example, we have a variable inside the bracket, so we have x. And we can't add x and 3, because they are not like terms. So in this case, we do it like we did the first example. We multiply 5 by x, and then we multiply 5 by the 3. So here we'll get 5x plus 15. Now we can't simplify this anymore because we can't add unlike terms. So this is our final answer. So now we look at another example. So here we have 7 by 4x minus 3. So we do this the same way as we did the first one. We're going to multiply the 7 by the 4x and then we're going to multiply the 7 by the minus 3. Now we can write 7 by 4x like this, or we can write 7 by 4x like this. Or in the same way, we can write the 7 by the minus 3 like we were doing, or we can write 7 by minus 3 like so. This makes it just shorter. So here we have 7 by 4x, which will give us 28x. And we have 7 by minus 3, which will give us minus 21. And again, we can't simplify this anymore, because they're unlike terms. Now, here we have an example where we have to multiply. We have two sets of multiplying to do. So first of all, we have 2 by 4x minus 3, and then we have minus 3 by x plus 5. So we do it the same way. We have 2 by 4x plus 2 by minus 3. And then we have minus 3 by x and minus 3 by 5. So here we get 8x minus 6 minus 3x minus 5. Now, what we can do here to finish off is we just add the like or similar terms, which will simplify our answer. So we have two x terms. So we have 8x minus 3x, which will give us 5x. And we have minus 6 and minus 15, which will give us minus 21. So that's our final answer. Now, we'll try one more of those, so. So again, we have two sets of multiplying to do. So in our first one we have 7b by minus a plus 7b by c. And in the second one we have b by 4a plus b by minus 3c. Again we multiply out our brackets. So we have 7b by minus a which will give us minus 7 don't forget, now we write our letters in alphabetical order. So we write our A in front of our B. And then we have 7BC plus 4AB. And then we have minus 3BC. So when we write our letters in alphabetical order, we can see that we have like terms, so we can add them together. So we have AB here and AB here. So we have minus 7ab plus 4ab, which will give us minus 3ab. And then we have a bc term here and a bc term here. So we have plus 7bc minus 3bc, which will give us plus 